the season has been phenomenal for Victor Ladipo. Um, your first Oscar, congratulations, Thank by you. the way. Uh, but really, what has been the magic um, for you this year that has been different since you've been playing? Um, just opportunity here in Indiana. Uh, you know, them believing in my game and my, my ability and asking, uh, you know, a lot of me and coming out there and, uh, you know, just flourishing in the system and flourishing here in Indiana. I went to school here, so it's very familiar for me. But I think the biggest thing was I worked hard this summer. Um, I changed my mind. Um, I changed my body and it was, it was beneficial for me. So just got to continue to keep getting better in those areas. Yeah. Um, please do share a little bit about your experience of being an All-Star. How cool is it, you know, to be an NBA or to be an NBA All-Star? Um, it's great. It's a great experience to be noticed as one of the best in the NBA. And, uh, but it was only one time. Um, and when you experience something like that, it's, um, it's infectious, it's contagious. So just got to continue to keep working hard so I can continue to be considered one of the best trying to be the best so that's what I'm focused on just trying to be great um, and got a lot of work to do but I'm willing to put in the work to get there now um, looking at the fact that it's been a great season for you and for the team what's, what's the goal now you know for you and you know for the team you know, running down the stretch of the season? Uh, to win to go to the playoffs and win yeah, yeah. Um, and win at a high level taking one day at a time one game at a time but that's the goal is to win Everything else to take is the NBA for Africa game. You were the reigning MVP, you know, of that game. How cool was it, you know, to come back home to Africa? I was. It was amazing. It was great. You know, a great experience, one that I'll never forget. Um, to be able to go back home and play, um, and I experienced it with my twin sister. My twin sister came with me, so it was an awesome experience, and we had a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, cool. Um, so, what are you looking forward to? You know, in August the fourth, we've been announced that that's when you take place in South Africa. Um, you know, if I get the opportunity to go back again, um, it would be great. You know, to go back back home and um, you know play and I'll try to get a win for Team Africa. So, yeah, we'll see if the opportunity presents itself. Oh, okay, um, I, I tried out something um, on Saturday. I was at uh, the United Center, the Cleveland Cavaliers played the Chicago Bulls, and I asked LeBron about coming to play the NBA for Africa game. And he was like, not a bad idea, I could come. Um, what do you think about that? Um, I think it would be great for the, for the country um, if he came. And um, I mean, his name speaks for itself. His game speaks for itself. Um, he is the, uh, he's the face of the NBA, he's the face of basketball. And um, Africa is, is so much, is, is so much uh, knowledge and um, they're eager to learn over there. You know what I mean? And they're trying to um, enhance the game of basketball in that continent. So. Fans back home, you know, in Nigeria, uh, they love and support the Pacers just because they know you are playing. You know, um, just say a word or two to you on all the Nigerians. Um, just shout out to all the Nigerian fans over there, all the, my Nigerian fans, all my family back home. I uh, just want to say hello, um, and thank you for supporting me. Uh, your support doesn't go unnoticed by me and my family, and uh, hopefully I can continue to represent you guys well um, and continue to um, instill in the world, you know, my my Nigerian background and where I learned how to work hard from and uh, just how good Nigerians can really be. Um, so, still sticking with Nigeria, um, the World Cup basketball is next year, the FIBA World Cup. Uh, would you consider um, if you're given an invitation? To um, no, nah, I'm kind of just focused on playing with the Pacers right now um, and trying to be the best Victor Oladipo possible for the Pacers. And when that opportunity comes, you know, I'll make a decision then, but right now that's what I'm focused on.